goodness. Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. I am so pumped right now because I just got another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy. It's the Roravorus, uh, what? Roravorus Allosaurus. As always, let's take a quick look at the packaging. So, um, as you all know, I love this kind of capture cage thing right here. And I love how they kind of combine the element of showing you how to use the action feature with the packaging. That's really cool instead of just, you know, try me arrow or something like that, like what Hasbro did. And um, interestingly, it says Jurassic World when, but the logo is still all cracked up like Fallen Kingdom's logo is, but it doesn't say Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It, it's because people are going to be confused. I was like, why is there another Jurassic World called Jurassic World? So, yeah, that's kind of weird. So you, you have the volcano right here, Mount Saibo. It's exploding. Everybody has to save the dinosaurs as pretty much all of you know by now. Here's Chris Pratt and Velociraptor Blue, the main characters from the movie. And on the back of the packaging, we've got other Rorivora stuff. Rorivora stuff. I got it now. We've got a Baryonyx, a Metrian Canthosaurus, and a Triceratops. I, I really like the Triceratops. That's a really nice dinosaur. And interestingly, they're showing the prototype version of this Allosaurus. It's because if you look at this one's back, it looks very sloppy and poorly done. While here... Oh, crap. Um, it's, it looks very striped. Stop talking and get me out of the box! And that looks very nice. And, um, also there's, um, like a little bit of, like, red on the, on the crest. So, I guess we have nothing else to do but to take this amazing dinosaur out of its box. Alright, here we go. Alright, so here. Here. And here. I love how easily this can be taken out of the box. All right, so here's this dinosaur out of the, what the? I had to put the tail on. So here she is in all of its magnificence out of the box. Oh my gosh. This thing looks even better once it's out of the box. It's just the detail, the accuracy. It's just there, it's so good. And I love the texture on the on the uh, skin. You can see there's a rib cage there. This rib cage it lets you know that Mattel did such a good job with these dinosaurs compared to Hasbro, who made pretty bad toys. Pretty much all of Hasbro's toys are not good these days. Like it's just ugh. So first, let's look at the face. This one, this one's face looks so good. I just noticed that there's some scars right here on the face. I just noticed that right now. And um, really, it's really good looking. And there's also some scars right here. It's kind of hard to tell because they're kind of lined up with the ribs, but there's a scar right here, right here, 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 here. There's also some on the arms. The arms look very muscular built. Like you can see all the muscles in the arms. Like the bicep and all that stuff. This house always been working out. So, uh, you can see the texture on the neck. You can see all the fat folds, which looks very realistic. This fe this feels real. I feel like I'm actually touching a reptile right now. The tail feels very bumpy as well. Actually, it's not bumpy. It's kind of a smooth. And uh, it's made of a soft rubber, kind of a pliable rubber, which is also pretty cool. And um, I and if you look closely, you can see like all these tiny, tiny little pebbles, like little beads that they've put in into the into the plastic for the mold to make it um, look, give it kind of more texture, you know. And the button is very well hidden. Cause like it's kind of bumpy on the edges. It's not just like a circle, which Hasbro did. It just doesn't look good at all. And um, this, um, 
yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about the texture and the detailing. Um, the painting is very good. It's simple, but it's still very good. And um, uh, there's, um, as, as I mentioned earlier, there's yellow striping that goes all the way down to almost the tip of the tail, but it stops right here. And um, there's also some on the legs right here. The claws are not painted, which kind of is annoying. The, the jowl, the, the gum right here, that's painted, and it's also um, detailed. It's kind of textured. Um, the tongue, it's blue. Some people might complain about that, but when you look at the trailer, the tongue is actually blue on the Allosaurus. So that kind of lets you know how much Mattel has been paying attention. Uh, I did not mean to activate the sound effects just yet. So, um, that's pretty much all for the paint, and oh, and also there's some detailing around the eye as far as painting goes. That's pretty good. Um, so articulation, it's uh, also simple, but it works. The jaw moves, and that comes into play with the action feature, which I'll show you in a second. The arms move a full three six. Oh, it's kind of difficult to do, but they do move a three hundred sixty degree swivel, which I wouldn't recommend to do too much because that might, you know, kind of weaken the arms and make it loose or something. And it also has a hinge joint, so it can move out like that. Which I don't really know why you'd want to do it. I guess you can make it look like it's trying to, like, slash their prey open like, like that or something. And articulation in the legs is probably the best because it moves a whole 360 easily. And it also has a, sw a, a outward swivel. Ugh, I did not mean to activate the sound. So it moves out. Same with this one. It doesn't move, this one doesn't, oh my gosh. Shut up, shut up, shut up please. I'm trying to review you. Oh, and also, you guys were kind of complaining that I didn't put the scanning code for the like the Jurassic World game close enough. So, hang on, let me let this focus, and then you could scan it. There you go. All right. Yeah. So, that's all for the articulation, and I love how this feels very solid. It feels very durable. It's made of a nice hard plastic and it feels very durable. Unlike the Jurassic World toys that Hasbro made, something about them just, they felt very thin. Like, they felt like they were gonna break if you, if like a cat scratched them or something. Like, I don't know, they just, they didn't really feel too durable. So, let's go on to this guy's action feature. So there's a button right here that you press. When you press it, Um, it activates a sound effect as well as a chomping action, which is awesome. I love it. So there's also five sound effects. I heard that they play, um, they don't play in, in any particular order. They play random, randomly, which is kind of weird. It's kind of a downside because if you'd want to have, like, a chasing somebody, you wouldn't want it to be roaring. You'd, forgive my phone, but uh, you'd want it to be kind of stomping. So it, sound, it sounds like it's uh, chasing a human or something. But the second sound effect, that's the stomping I was just talking about, actually. So, uh, and it also has kind of an Indominus Rex roar right there. Uh, that was a straight T-Rex roar. A lot of people are complaining that they're using T-Rex roars, but really, I don't really mind it that much. Okay, the next roar. That was pretty interesting. It's kind of a... I've never really heard that roar, roar before. Roar before. I'm getting I'm getting all mixed up with the roar revores word thing. Um, so, that's... I think that might be the Allosaurus's roar. Like, a movie-accurate roar. Like, Mattel could only get their hands on one roar sound effect that's actually accurate, so they're just using T-Rex roars for, like, other sound effects, which makes sense.
So, okay, the next roar. That was an Indominus Rex, which was pretty cleverly used. They didn't make it obvious it was an Indominus Rex, but it was easy to tell it was Indominus Rex because you could, like, judge that sort of growl in the beginning, which is pretty good. I think there's one more sound effect. We already heard that one before. Yeah, I think that's all of them because they're playing other ones again. All right, so that's all the other sound effects. Woo! A quick thing to note about the new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys. I'm sure pretty much all of you hardcore Jurassic Park fans like me know this by now, but for all of you all that are just casual viewers ugh, watching my YouTube channel, um, everything in this new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line is in scale. This Allosaurus has some serious balancing issues. <laughs> it's because the tail is smaller than it's a little bit smaller than it's supposed to be. That's the only problem of this amazing toy. But everything is in scale with each other. So there's no longer like a tiny little T-Rex and a big human. Now this human right here, it's not um, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It's actually for Kong Skull Island. It's a Kong Skull Island toy line human. So yeah, this Allosaurus... And, and this human figure is about the same size as the new human figures for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line. Which is great for some realistic dinosaur action. Now it's size comparison time. So first of all, let me show you this Allosaurus compared to the previous Allosaurus, the Jurassic World Allosaurus made by Hasbro. Now this one I repainted to look better, but I'm sure pretty much all of you know what it actually looks like. Yeah, as you can see, it's very tiny. It's, uh, it's, the crest isn't, it, the crest is all wrong. It's small, and the articulation is almost too simple. Like, uh, this one has unique articulation. Well, this one's just, eh. Alright, so here it is, next to the, to the, uh, to the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy I previously reviewed, the Battle Damage Herrerasaurus which is also a really good toy. So yeah, it's this Allosaurus, when I saw it in stores at Walmart, it was a lot bigger than I imagined. Like when I saw the video of it at Toy Fair, it's a lot, it's a lot bigger than it looks on video. And, I've, and here it is next to my hand. I've got pretty big hands for a 12 year old. And this thing is pretty, yeah, it's a good size. Here it is next to the Matchbox uh, T-Rex tracker set. Um, which is minuscule compared to this Allosaurus. Allosaurus looks like Godzilla compared to this truck. The best thing I noticed, I, I can't believe I didn't say this earlier, but no screw holes. Like the pre well, there is one on here, but I can't blame them. It's because that's to open the battery compartment. So yeah, there's no visible screw holes apart from that one, like the Hasbro toy line. It, um, I didn't show you, I mean, you've probably seen this in my repaint video, but this Allosaurus, I, like, I filled in the screw holes with clay, so you can't, you can't see the screw holes. I forgot to add to, to cover one, but it's because it was under the legs and I didn't notice it. So, anyways, that was the review. Of the Roarivores uh, uh, Allosaurus. I hope you enjoy my videos and my content. If you do, I'd really suggest you share, subscribe, and hit the like button. Holy crap, guys, I forgot to show you something. Check out this awesome art that I did. It's for the Indoraptor, it's the new hybrid that's coming for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I also put the logo right there. So, yeah, tell me in the comment section what do you think of my art? Do you like it? Does it suck or is it good? Why won't the, why won't the video turn off? Come on, turn off!